Have you ever heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? How about a country called the Trash Isles? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a massive collection of floating debris in the North Pacific Ocean, found between California and Hawaii. Let's explore this environmental crisis and its impact. In 1997, a racing boat captain, named Charles Moore, was returning from a boat race. And he found a giant patch of garbage floating on the ocean, which later was named the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Opposite to common misconception, it is not a mountain of trash piled up in the middle of the ocean. It is made of an astonishing 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic trash. And it spans an area of 1.6 million square kilometers, weighing around 80,000 tons. At this rate, experts predict that there will be more trash in the ocean than fish by 2050. To raise awareness, the Plastic Oceans Foundation and the Lad Bible Group transformed the Great Pacific Garbage Patch into a nation known as Trash Isles. Al Gore became the first citizen, while Judy Dench was named the Queen. Today, Trash Isles has over 200,000 citizens, its own flag, passport, and currency. But how did the Great Pacific Garbage Patch form in the first place? The Ocean Cleanup, a Dutch non-profit organization, conducted extensive research. They discovered that wind and ocean currents have accumulated marine debris in this one area over time. The debris found within the garbage patch is categorized into four size classes. Fishing nets and aquaculture nets make up a significant portion, weighing around 42,000 tons. It's important to understand that the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a result of human activity. Since the 1950s, 8.3 billion tons of plastic have been produced worldwide, over 80% of it discarded. Shockingly, about 12 million tons of plastic find their way into the ocean each year, posing a grave threat to marine life and humans. It's time for us to take action. We must clean up the existing plastic debris and work towards reducing the amount of plastic that ends up in our oceans. By doing so, we can protect marine life and safeguard our own health. Remember, nature and humans are inextricably linked, and it's our responsibility to protect and preserve our planet for future generations.